Hello everyone, it's Tsugava, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get cool icons like this, this, and these, including on the killer side, for portraits, perks, icons, items, and so much more. Oh my god! Wow! Let's get into it. First thing you want to do is head on over to your web browser of choice. For me, that's going to be Firefox, and then head on over to nightlight.gg, and it's going to take you to this awesome, very clean, very modern website. It's really awesome to navigate. Um, and this is being painted by someone named Boop, who is an awesome person in the community. Uh, he previously made Dead by Daylight Toolbox, which is another icon manager. Uh, but this is an updated version with a lot more functionality. It's really awesome. Uh, this also lets you track stats, uh, you know, as a community. Uh, so you can also do that with this. Um, but yeah, that's up. You know, you can support their work. Uh, they actually have a cool Ko-Fi page, so you can do support by three dollars a month to give you some awesome extras, or do one-time payments, uh, or you can just use it for free. It's not really a problem. Not all of us have money to fork over. I mean, it's dead by daylight. They already take all of our money, anyways. Um, but yeah, at the bottom left, we're gonna see a download button. Nightlight Desktop install packs and track stats. Very cool. It's gonna take you to the download page, and you can just click on the download. And as you can see, actively developed. And if you want to discuss any ideas or bugs. You can find me in the Discord. That's going to be the link for the Nightlight Desktop Discord. Um, yeah, if if you uh, need help with anything, or if you just want to join there because they also are just like a community game server Discord for Dead by Daylight. If you want to talk about the game, if you want to talk about icons and stats, or if you want to do Swifts, Killers, just general you know video game talk, uh, but for Dead by Daylight. And you can also make an account here if you'd like. So I'm just going to click on the installer file so you can see Nightlight Desktop Setup. Um, and yeah, this is pretty generally safe to use. Uh, if you have any uh, doubts, you can check it with your virus scanner or virustotal.com. Free tool. Awesome to use. But yeah, we are going to open the setup wizard, Nightlight Desktop Setup. Click Next. This area, you can uh, actually set a custom install path. So maybe you have a different uh, drive, but it's only 13.8 megabytes. So you can leave it on your main drive. Uh, no real point to move it. But if you want to, that's where you can do it. Click on install. It'll take a few seconds. Click next, finish. And it is installed on your computer. Nothing pops up. That's completely fine. Uh, you just want to locate your search uh, area on Windows, or you can hit your Windows key and just type in Nightlight. As you can see, Nightlight Desktop, click on Open, and it's going to update to the latest version. Uh, sometimes it does have the latest installer, sometimes it doesn't. Um, that's completely fine. This is going to be the homepage. Really awesome, clean UI, really easy to use. As you can see at the bottom left, um, I'm actually already uh, have an account. You can make your own to favorite your icon packs, your stats, track everything. Uh, but you don't need to if you don't want to. Uh, but yeah, you have an uploader for your stats. You can browse icon packs, reset your default icons, upload your own icon packs, publish packs, uh, see what you've published and manage them, tools, settings, and then that's the website. And then over here, this is just going to take you to the Ko-Fi link if you want to support them. Um, again, if you do have a few dollars, I mean support them. A really awesome tool. It's, uh, you know, yeah, it's, it's given away for free. So uh, if you do really like the, the tool, then, uh, you know, obviously if you can support them uh but yeah this is going to be your browsing area uh so you do have a few different options here at the top and you have everything at the bottom uh, you can select how many you want on your page you can scroll through the pages you can uh custom select what page you want to be on or just go by individually or all the way to the end um on every icon pack you're going to see the icons you know like some um examples the name you can favorite them you can share it copy link or copy a zip link if you want just the icons itself Itself. it'll be the name the version of the icon pack um and then sometimes they have different editions so like the fairies galaxy pack so you guys can see there's a bunch of cool versions of them ombre purple red um and this one this one right here actually is a really popular one from back in the day i think maybe jrm or someone like that or maybe noob 3 sees this icon pack but it's pretty popular from back in the day um and you can also see what chapter it's updated for so this one's for D, D dungeons and dragons so you know this is like latest up to date a lot of icon packs sometimes don't get updated for a good while but maybe you'll see one from all the way from when the dredge got added or something and you can see the latest uh, update date. As you can see, it's June 15, so not too long ago, 17 days ago, how many downloads it's gotten since this tool was created. Um, and you can see I, I installed it six times, last time six minutes ago. Uh, this is not my first time trying to record this video. But yeah, you can start about the downloads, uh, or you can do by creation date, update date, 
uh, game version. You know, you have a lot of different filters. Um, you can sort of by author, search up a title or description. You can select the game version. So obviously, like I want Dungeons and Dragons. I'm not on the PTB. PTB just went down. I want to include some stuff. And you can also sort it by your favorite. So if you want to favorite a bunch of the stuff and you just want to hop swap in between, that also makes it easily. Um, so I'm going to click on install. Oh, actually, before that, I do want to, if you click on it, you can actually preview all the icons. So as we can see, you can preview all the icons, which look really awesome. See the items, offerings, powers, add-ons, status, actions. Uh, and this one doesn't have portraits. So I'm actually going to show you that you can actually install multiple packs. And it's not too hard. Click on install. And you can select, you know, to enable all of them. Obviously, if you don't have anything enabled, you don't install anything. But you can also choose, like, maybe I don't want the add-ons from this one. Maybe I don't want the items or the offerings. You can always mix and match. Uh, but I'm going to install everything from this pack. But I also want portraits because this one doesn't include it. And maybe I don't like the default portraits. Obviously, up to you if you like it or not. But we're going to also install another portrait. And it's very simple to use. As you can see, it's super fast to download. Um, again, Boop is an amazing person for making this. Uh, because it's super nice like th this is something like a huge you know big company could make and he's doing it by himself and obviously a very uh, talented person uh very intelligent so uh very awesome tool okay so we installed that galaxy pack now let's say we have some shortcuts up here maybe i want portraits only maybe i want perks only maybe all the uh equipped uh, i'm gonna put portraits only so we're gonna click apply and then we have a bunch of portrait packs as you can see they're all updated to dungeons and dragons this is actually pretty funny. <laughs> you can do a uh, SpongeBob one. So it's actually pretty funny. I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of tempted to do that one. Let's see. Lore. Pixel Fortress are cool. Reworked Killer. I'm not too big of a fan of that one. Those are pretty cool. Tiny DVD. I actually like this one. This is actually pretty cute. And then let's preview. Uh, oh, this is actually all together. Um, I'm not really a big fan of the Survivor side ones and. Maybe, have I not played DVD in a minute? I don't know who the heck James is. <laughs> is that the latest Survivor? I wouldn't know. Oh, because this was updated during Alan Wake. Uh, so yeah, that, that one's a little old. Um, let's say let's sort it by update date and then click apply again. And then we're all going to see a bunch of stuff. So we, all this is from the PTB. So we have some golden scratch marks. Those are pretty cool, actually. And then, oh, this one's my favorite. The googly eyes. Let's do the googly eyes. So we're going to install this one. As we can see, it's just portraits. But let's say it had like other stuff with it too. I can uncheck the other stuff and leave it on the portraits. So we're going to click install. And well, this is Lara Croft. So when the new uh, update drops, I already have like Lara Croft in here. And obviously, you can also preview it here. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. And then I don't understand this one. Uh, because this one's been there for a uh, quite a while, and every time I use it, I get really confused by Rebecca's. This, uh, if you guys could explain to me what the reference is, it'd be really helpful. But yeah, uh, we did just install it. Did I not just install it? Maybe I didn't. I didn't click on install, but that one downloaded really fast. Um, but yeah, everything's good. Um, and if you want to revert, you can also go here, default icons, restore default icons. Um, and you can also pick what you want to install. So maybe you want to do the emblems, the icons, portraits, whatever. Upload your stuff. We talked about that. Look at your published packs, whatever. But you can just close out the tool. I'm going to head on over to Steam and I'm going to click on my Dead by Daylight. Uh, okay. Uh, we're just going to click play game. And just uh, let's just give it a second to load up. So we have uh, Dead by Daylight, Dungeons and Dragons. Lara Croft are dropping very soon. I actually recorded a video of me playing on the PTB, but I didn't have like all the perks uh, unlocked stuff. And I'm like, you know what? This is not really a good video, so I'm just not going to upload it. Um, and then the PTB left and I never recorded the video. I got really busy the past few days. And genuinely, it's not me talking about like, oh, like I've been busy. I've been doing stuff. I was genuinely busy. Like, I, I promise. I promise. So we're loading into the game. Uh, obviously, it's uh, event time. So <laughs> we have a bunch of other extra stuff, which is really cool. Honestly, I love when the video does this stuff. And also the DVD logo, the scratch marks, doesn't look half bad in gold. It looks pretty awesome. Um, taking quite a while to uh, load in here. Come on now. Come on, behavior. I believe in you. Or come on, computer. I believe in you. Ooh, gilded trinkets. Oh, we have awesome. Oh, we have new stuff. Very cool. Oh, from the rift. Very cool. Okay, so we're just going to close all these pop-ups. As you can see, I've not played in a minute. I'm going to click on play. We'll go to the survivor side. We can see I have the new portraits, which is very cool. 
go to our loadout as you can see we have all these awesome icons very awesome blood web uh, we obviously have awesome stuff customize um well nothing here has changed i believe you can change this stuff i'm not too sure um but uh i'm not sure how many creators make stuff like that then if we back out and head on over to the killer side let's check this out see the killers very awesome as well we have some very cool googly eyes and the nurses is a little like uh lower opacity which is pretty funny um but let's see let's let's hop into a uh let's hop into a bot match i'm not dumb custom game let's put myself as a killer as nurse add some bots hmm. let's uh let's be i don't know Let's be, uh, who do you guys want me to be? Let's say, uh, uh, as you can see, I don't really play killer side. Okay, let's play, let's play Freddy, okay? I know, the most boring character in this game. <laughs> most stale gameplay. Oh, I got some BP. Okay, I can max out some stuff. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But yeah, let's load into a match with our bot friends over here. Game looks really fun right now, which is awesome. Um, I wish we did get more events throughout the year, and, um... I don't know, maybe community service or something could come to the game one day. Um, might be controversial, but cross-play with mobile. I mean, you'd get a lot more players. Uh, obviously, maybe have that as an opt-in thing. Maybe not on by default. But here we are, already into the game. Um, I just want to show you guys, you know. Okay, look, at the bottom left, um, uh, we have the custom icons. My perks have the custom icons. And now the game looks very, very nice. Um, it's awesome, you know. Um, this is a really awesome tool, me, Boop. Highly recommend supporting him. If you can, you know, throw over a few dollars, even a dollar, I believe GoFi allows you to do. That'd be really awesome because that just supports this tool, like staying live and getting updated regularly. Um, but yeah, if you guys found this video helpful, I mean, drop a like. Uh, but again, please do support him. Uh, check his Discord server out. I've been using this tool for a long time and he used to use his previous tool as well, um, which was also very good to use back in the day. Um, but he just made something even better, which is obviously awesome um i don't actually play killer i don't really intend to make this a uh, proper match <laughs> um wow i predicted that a power drop from a mile away um <laughs> but yeah um really awesome tool make sure to support him check him out um yeah like if this helped you guys out let me know if you guys have any tools or anything else you guys would like me to show you guys how to do or like uh any explanations and on how things are done um yeah subscribe turn notifications you guys never miss a video my discord server is also in the description below uh as always and everything is at tastyguava.com i will catch you guys in the next one or maybe i'll catch you guys in the fog is that is that, is that was that cool is that is that cringe let me know please i must know okay bye guys what am i doing over here oh man these survivors are just you know really hiding around oh scratch marks or was I being crazy? Was it was it was I lying to myself for the scratch marks? Oh, I see someone. Hey Nancy, how you doing? Oh, all of you are here. Bro, literally what is this gameplay? Up.